Ready to take a look at the reef? Let's do it. Alright YouTube, coming at you today with an update on the reef tank. Um, things have been going fairly good overall. Um, getting a lot of growth on the corals and things like that. Um, some things are doing better than others, but hey, you know that's that's part of it in the reef uh, in the reef game. Um, thought I would just kind of do an update and go through and kind of show everyone what's been going on. As far as livestock or, or fish go, um, I've got um, about the same as probably the last few videos. I've got this purple fire fish. I've got the. Um, Oh, I forget what type of goby this is now. I'm just blanking out on me. Red and white striped one. Uh, I forget what I forget what it's called. Still got the cardinal, pajama cardinal, and then the two clownfish. I've had over the last few months a couple different uh, royal gramas, and both of them have uh, died on me. Not sure why. Um, water parameters are perfect, pristine. Uh, there's no problems. Uh, my nitrates are reading at zero. Everything else is, is par for the course. So I'm not sure. Um, got a couple of fire shrimp in here and then um, a couple peppermint shrimp and one uh, skunk cleaner shrimp back there. And I apologize guys, this is gonna come out pretty blue, um, but I'm working on um, shooting these in a, a little bit better uh, in the upcoming um, weeks, so bear with me on that. Um, bubble coral here is doing really nice, especially these two closest uh, heads. The top head sometimes gets a lot bigger than that, but as you can see there's a snail on it right now, so um, that tends to get corals to close up. Green star polyps down here are doing real well. I'm just really wanting them to spread over onto this rock but I just can't seem to get that done. Um, another new coral behind it here. Um, he's closed up right now, and I'm blanking on the name as we speak. Ghani, it's a Ghani, sorry about that. Um, he's closed up right now because these, uh, I, th <laughs> I think my clownfish are taking a liking to him, um, but uh, he's beautiful when he's opened up. Behind him there is another bubble coral. It's a different type. I forget the actual type, but um, very, very nice. And then um, the pulsing zinnias on this side. Uh, these are more of a purple. I finally got a new torch coral. Put it in the same spot as the old one. Uh, hasn't completely opened up yet. It's been a week or two, but he's starting to. Um, the toadstool above it comes and goes as far as opening. Um, this hammer coral, frog spawn, another green on green frog spawn. These all these euphelias are doing real well. Nice softies in here. Uh, the Duncan, it's really opening up. The other heads uh, haven't seemed to start opening up on it yet, but you know that's what it is. Christmas Flavia, um, trumpet coral, doing well. Little bleached out. Should be more of a green. And the candy cane above was doing real well. It had like three nice big heads, and now uh, it's only got one head. It looks like the others somehow have been removed. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Here's a little close-up of this goby again. I do have a blenny in here too, a scooter blenny. Um, we'll see if we can get him out at some point. Uh, also, my Recordia, um, it had spread like the length of this rock all the way past. It was really nice and long. And lately it's been a lot smaller and closed up. And then I got another orange and green Recordia, which you can see a little bit of orange down here. It had started opening up and then for some reason, um, after a week or two, it's, it's just been getting smaller and smaller. Now you can barely even see it down there, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, the zoanthids, zoanthids, uh, 
Zoas, they're all doing great. Uh, a little bit closed up right now because uh, one of the fire shrimp had been climbing around on there right before I shot the video, maybe even when the video was started. But got quite a collection of Zoas. Oh, there's the two heads of the candy cane coral I can see now. I'll have to investigate and see what's going on there. But yeah, Zoas are doing well. A lot of nice colors and stuff. Can't wait till some of these spread a little more. Then I've got another uh, Xenia back here. This is a, a silver pom pom. Looks about the same, but I just needed something to fill up the space back there. Um, just because, um, so I thought of throwing a Xenia. They're not very expensive and they grow quick, would be cool. Uh, this, I forget the name of this one, the green one there. But it's doing good. Some days it's out and extended a lot better than others. I've got um, a red cap, Monty, a little small frag right there. We'll see, two of them actually, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, the bird's nest over on this side is doing real well. Really been growing, really like the colors on that. Um, some of the other, uh, SPS up here aren't seeming to do quite as well, but I'm just being patient and seeing what happens. But yeah, that's uh, that's the gist of it, I guess, for right now. Um, overall, things are doing real well. Um, I wish this this uh, Ghana would open up for you guys. It looks really sweet. It's too bad, but. Um, pretty happy with it um, been thinking about some plans for a second reef tank came really close to starting to pull the trigger on one and then I decided to put it put the brakes on that for now until I figure some stuff out and uh, get some other projects done that I've been trying to do um, but it's pretty safe to say that there's gonna be a bigger reef coming at some point Maybe this year, maybe even a little further out, depending on funds and stuff like that too. But uh, really, really getting into the reefing part of the hobby, so it's fun to do. So that's re really about it for now, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching my videos like always. Um, I know I always say that, but I really do. Uh, if you are new to this channel and this is the first time you're seeing one of these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe. Um, check out my other social media outlets as well. They're listed here as well. And make sure that you go check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Um, their uh, YouTube channels will be listed below. Make sure you go over and join Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Um, it's, strictly, it's not strictly a page for freshwater, salt, uh, freshwater fish keepers. Salt keepers are, are welcome too, reef keepers. Um, so make sure you get involved in that. And uh, yeah, for now, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.